Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zang here, and today I'm uploading game 2 against Blake Hopper, also known as Mr. Bopper. Blake finished 11th at Worlds, as I described in yesterday's video in battle, and if you have not watched the first game against him, definitely check it out, because it was a really close battle. Going into the second game, I figured I didn't really need to make any adjustments. Blake's team counters my gut to tell Mawile Core really, really well, so I did not want to bring either of those two Pokemon this entire set. Unfortunately, I did have another Mega Pokemon in Charizard. Blake, on the other hand, decided to get rid of the Mianxia, which really didn't do much for him the first game, especially since Taunt's not going to help him out very much, since he's probably expecting me not to bring Gothitelle. Instead, bring Rotom Wash, which was a really smart adjustment on his end, because Rotom Wash can burn my Pokemon, uh, namely Conkeldur, which actually doesn't carry Guts, it has Iron Fist and Life Orb instead, and it can also Thunderbolt the Charizard. So, it was a smart adjustment by him, and we'll see how it plays out. So, without further ado, let's get right into the battle. Now, the issue with the first game that I had was mainly with the Garchomp. I don't really have any good ways to deal with the Garchomp, and he is Substitute, which means one-hit KOing him is a lot harder. He can also one-hit KO my own Hydreigon with the Dragon Claw, and you see here, Blade plays really smartly, knowing that Garchomp is essential to this matchup, so he actually does not bring it this time around, at least not with the leads. He leads with Charizard and Rotom against my Zapdos and Kinkelder, and I feel alright about the lead matchup here. I know I can take this overheat. In the first game, he was able to one-hit KO my Zapdos with overheat, but I had already taken some chip damage, so I know I can probably survive a overheat at full HP. He actually goes for it, and I, fortunately enough, avoid the overheat, which is a really, really great way, obviously, to start the battle. I uh, wasn't anticipating that, but I was definitely happy with that. He goes for the Will-O-Wisp here onto my Conkeldur, burning it, which I'm okay with because I'll still be able to get a lot of damage off here, but unfortunately I miss the Hammer Arm. So we trade misses there, but I think the overheat definitely hurt him more. Now this following term, I'm expecting him to stay in with the Charizard and go for another overheat, so I decide to roost with my Zapdos and Rock Slide to try to heal up all the damage from overheat and pick up the KO, but that was a really poor prediction on my part. He plays smartly by switching Charizard out into the Garchomp, so this Rock Slide is obviously not going to do very much to either of his Pokemon, and Zapdos did absolutely nothing. Alternatively, I could have just HPS the Charizard slot, and had I called that correctly, I think it actually might have been just able to win me the game right from the start. Instead, I made the more defensive play, and that did not pay out as well. This following turn, I'm expecting him to target my Conkeldur with a Thunderbolt from the Rotom, and I'm expecting the substitute here. So I just try to get some chip damage off before Conkeldur feigns. I do go for the HP Ice, expecting the substitute, but it's always good just to break the sub, because a Garchomp with Life Orb on their sub is very, very irritating to deal with. He goes for the Thunderbolt, but actually targets my Zapdos, so Blake is just outplaying me every single turn here, and he's doing a really great job. That Thunderbolt was also a smart play, because it means he'll be able to get some chip damage off. Uh, enough for this Dragon Claw to do a whole lot of damage, not enough for it to KO though. Uh, this following turn, I actually didn't Mach Punch with Conkeldur, because I thought he might try to double target the Zapdos, uh, seeing how he targeted Zapdos the previous turn with Rodom. I do go for the Roost, and I know I can stall out the Scarchomp since I've got Rocky Helmet and he's got Life Orb, so he's going to be taking a lot of recoil damage, but Rotom this time targets the Conkeldur, so once again, Blake's got the edge on predictions, and I'm really upset with how I'm playing, I think he's basically outplayed me every single turn. I'm still not that behind though, so I know I have a good chance of winning if I can make a couple of good calls these upcoming turns. I bring in Charizard now, and I know the Garchomp doesn't have Rock Slide, so I figure He's probably going to switch out to the Aegislash that he most likely has in the back. Uh, so I went for a kind of aggressive play and just straight up heat waved here, expecting a switch, but once again, Blake does not switch. You know, I could have just also HPS the Garchomp and Solar Beam, which would have definitely netted the KO, at least on Rotom, seeing how Garchomp protected. But instead, he stays in with both Pokemon, protecting with Garchomp. I do get the Roost, which is nice, but I know the Thunderbolt is incoming from that Rotom, which is really, really bad. And for whatever reason, I really did not think Rotom was going to stay in. But instead, Blake getting the upper edge in terms of prediction once again, and unfortunately Charizard's going to get paralyzed from this Thunderbolt as well, meaning I'll be able- I won't be able to outspeed any of his Pokemon with Charizard now, and I lose the Sun, so that's really, really bad. And at this point, I've kind of just conceded defeat. Uh, I thought I maybe had a chance had the Charizard not gone paralyzed, because had I been able to knock out the Garchomp, Ro the ch my own Charizard would have been able to deal with his entire team, but now that Charizard's actually slower than Rotom, his Rotom's just going to be able to knock me out with the Thunderbolt. So Charizard goes down and essentially does absolutely nothing, which is obviously very, very terrible. And now I know my chances of winning are very slim. I've got Zapdos at full HP, Hydreigon with choice specs against his full HP Aegislash, Rotom Wash, Garchomp, and Charizard. However, his Charizard and Garchomp are weakened, so I'm hoping that with some luck I can still pull through. 
I go for the Dark Pulse and Thunder Wave here, and I really thought the Dark Pulse would KO the Rotom, but it doesn't, unfortunately. And the reason I Thunder Wave there was because I was kind of expecting a King Shield, and even if he did, I would have been able to just try to get some Para Hacks, because if there's any way I can pull out and win this battle, it's with some minimal luck here. Unfortunately, I don't get the Dark Pulse flinch on Rotom, and I don't get the Paralysis on Aegislash. Uh, I think had I gotten one of the two, it would have put me in a much better situation, but instead he gets a lot of damage against my Zapdos. This following turn, I'm really expecting him to just stay in blade form with Aegislash, so I go for the KO there, and I do get it, which is nice, but it's still kind of too late to come back at this point. My only real way of winning is to cons consistently heal with the Zapdos. You know, maybe if I can bait him into knocking me out with the Dragon Claw from Garchomp, heal back to full HP, then it'll be Rotom Wash and Charizard against my Zapdos. I know I can take an Overheat, Roost, and, you know, can just stall out the game, so it's still not over yet. But the chances, of course, of me winning here are very slim. He does hit the Hydro Pump as well, and here he just goes for the Dragon Claw, knowing he'll be able to get the one-hit KO there, as I'm Choice Specs and he outspeeds me. So an excellent play by him there, making the safest play possible, and bringing it down to a 1 versus 3. I'm going to continually Roost here, because if he misses a Hydro Pump or 2, I can actually win this game, so I'm kind of banking off of that right now. He goes for the Thunderbolt here, just to try to pick up some damage. Might have not been expecting the Roost there, but I know the only way I can win now is Roost. His Guard Jump goes for another Dragon Claw, and you see I still hang on. He takes the Rocky Helmet damage and the Life Orb damage, but it isn't enough to knock him out, and I really needed that. Unfortunately, had I just targeted Garchomp with Mach Punch early on in the game with Conkeldur, I might have actually been able to come back and win this. But he's going to hit this Hydro Pump, and that's going to be GG, basically. Had he missed her, I might have actually been able to win, which is kind of crazy considering how well Blake play basically played this game. And in the end, he is able to take the 2-0 win, uh, but with a very weakened Rotom Wash and Charizard in the back. So... Definitely well played by Blake, I don't think I got the upper edge on him on any of one of these turns, I thought he just consistently outplayed me, I was making all these unnecessary predictions, and he definitely got the better end of me, so, uh, you know, I was kind of frustrated because he played such a good game and I don't think I made any good plays, but at the same time, I saw how close the game was, especially given, you know, when your opponent outplays you like that every turn, you expect it to be kind of a more one-sided battle, but it was still really close, and had I just predicted well once or twice, I mean, it might have gone the other way. So I still feel pretty good going into the Game 3. I know all of his sets at this point, you know, Leftovers on Aegislash, Substitute Life Orb on Garchomp, Typical Rotom Wash set, and I know he's probably going to stick with the same Pokemon going into the final set. So I feel pretty confident, got some important information out there, and even though I didn't take the win, I uh, got a good sense of Blake's playstyle, of course, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that battle, huge props to Blake for playing that really well, and of course stay tuned for the upcoming Game 3 in this epic best of 3 set. Leave a like on the video of course if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Peace!